Many thanks for the opportunity to be here today. It's great to see so many people in the room. I was downstairs earlier and there was such a buzz in the room, so loads of enthusiasm, loads of people networking and talking, so it's great uh, for me to be here. Um, it's also really good for me to be here as somebody from Active Cumbria, who for the last 18 months has worked at home. So it was very interesting for me last night to be ratcheting through the back of my wardrobe to make sure that I had a pair of trousers that still fitted me <laughs> and that I didn't have an inch worth of dust uh, lining my shoes. Thankfully, from my point of view, the trousers do still fit and the shoes got a quick wipe over. So from that point of view, I'm, I'm glad to be here. As Michelle said, I'm Richard Johnson, uh, Senior Manager for Active Cumbria, um, which is hosted and part of Cumbria County Council's wider public health service. So the aim of the presentation today is to really give you a bit more information about who Active Cumbria are, what we do, and also how you can get involved in, in promoting physical activity in your workplaces and in your own lives uh, moving forward. For those who aren't aware, physical inactivity is actually a really serious issue. Um, it's responsible for one in six UK deaths and also for up to 40% of long-term health conditions. Interestingly, we've seen throughout the pandemic an increased focus on physical activity being now seen as an essential necessity for everybody rather than just a luxury or something that people do in their own time. Evidence also suggests that mortality rates would have been lower during the pandemic if society had been generally fitter and had done more physical activity. So I want to start my presentation this morning or this afternoon by showing you why physical activity is important. There's strong evidence of the benefits that physical activity can play in supporting the achievement of many community outcomes. On this slide, you can see just a few that support children and young people, physical well-being, mental well-being, and social and community development. The standout ones for me on this slide include things like how physical activity can reduce the burden on the health service how it can reduce anxiety, stress, and depression, reducing social isolation and loneliness. But there are others, not on this slide, such as how physically active employees are more productive and generally take less time off work through sickness. From a health perspective, evidence from Public Health England also shows that regular physical activity can help prevent or manage a range of chronic health conditions and long-term diseases, such as type 2 diabetes, depression, and diseases like cardiovascular disease. For many of these diseases and conditions, regular and appropriate levels of physical activity is as good, if not better, than prescribed drugs. This slide highlights how physical activity can contribute to reducing the health risks of a number of conditions. So to help set some context, Active Cumbria is the Active Partnership for Cumbria and is one of 43 such organisations that exist covering every geographic area of England. We've been hosted within Cumbria County Council since 1999 and we've got a strong track record of delivering events, services and programmes on behalf of our main funders, Sport England. Our team comprises a mix of 14 development and operations staff and we're led by an independent advisory board uh, up until recently, which has been chaired by Jason Gooding, CEO of Carlisle City Council, but is now chaired by Lorraine Smythe, the CEO of Action with Communities in Cumbria. Our team is led by two senior managers, myself and my colleague Bruce Lawson, and we report directly in, into Cumbria County Council's Director of Public Health. The role of Active Cumbria is to provide leadership, expertise and connectivity for and on behalf of the physical activity and sports sector in Cumbria and we work with many organisations to help them develop their facilities, services and programmes to help improve the lives of people in communities across Cumbria through physical activity. We believe that physical activity has got a really important role to play in improving the health and well-being of the residents of Cumbria, as well as contributing nicely to the Cumbria COVID recovery strategy. So it's really important to show you what the local picture is uh, and the scale of the challenge that we face here in Cumbria. 
Over the last few years, we've been producing a range of infographics on a, on a regular basis that cover the county and also the six district areas of Cumbria. We've got, we've got infographics for adults and also for children and young people that look at things like the physical activity and sport, participation rates, as well as correlating those with other data sets such as healthy weight. On this slide, you can see some of the standout challenges that we in Cumbria face. So just under two thirds of adults are active, meaning that a third of adults across Cumbria aren't active enough. Just under a half of pupils are not meeting the CMO recommendations about being active for 60 minutes each day. One in four, 25% of children aged four to five are regarded as being overweight or obese. And that increases to a third by the time they leave primary school. And 61% of adults in Cumbria are regarded as being overweight or obese. So that does set some of the scale of the challenge that we collectively face. But we also know that there are particular demographics within the county who are less active than they should be. So those from poorer communities, women in general, those from ethnically diverse backgrounds, people with a disability and older adults are all more likely to be less active than is good for them. So, now that you're aware of the challenge that we face in Cumbria, how are Active Cumbria helping to get our communities to be more physically active? Well, in April, we launched our new five-year plan, which covers the period of April 21 through to March 26. Clear mission and vision statements, as you can see on the slide. The vision for Active Cumbria, or the mission for Active Cumbria, should I say, is a, is a very simple one. It's about improving lives through physical activity. Our plan is underpinned by four key outcomes with a range of strategic objectives and a range of measures of what success will look like in 2026. So looking at those strategic outcomes, outcome one is all about increasing levels of physical activity in our communities in Cumbria to reduce the health and well-being inequalities that exist. Outcome two is about how increased levels of physical activity can contribute to a carbon footprint reduction across our communities in Cumbria. And outcome three is all about recognising the important physical activity can play in improving people's lives. We have a fourth outcome within there, very much for Active Cumbria as an organisation, focusing on Active Cumbria being a sustainable, high-performing organisation that's relevant to its partners and stakeholders. Our five-year plan completely drives the work of, of Active Cumbria, supporting individuals and communities across the, across the life course to be more physically active. And our local delivery comprises of three key elements. First of all, our primary role with Sport England. That's the funded role that we provide on their behalf as one of the 43 active partnerships across England. The second delivery is national funded and commissioned programmes, services and events. Again. These are generally commissioned uh, through lottery investment through Sport England. And thirdly, our own locally developed and funded programmes, services and events. The key here is that all of this work has to be done in partnership. We are a very small team in the grand scheme of things. So all of our work is done in partnership with local organisations, sectors and networks. The reasons people are inactive are many and complex. But we know that we must work across the public, the private and the voluntary sector if we're going to shift the dial on the inactivity stats that I mentioned earlier. So as I mentioned earlier, our focus is right across the life course as we know that being physically active has benefits regardless of what age you are. From those in early years where it can support and improve cognitive learning and school readiness factors right through to older adults who, through regular low levels of physical activity, can improve their um, ability to live independently for longer. It can help support um, reducing trips and falls and can ensure a better quality of life for longer. But we know we can't be everything to everyone. So we've had to select areas of greatest need across Cumbria. These are the areas that will focus our efforts. So 
so that we can have the biggest impact in these communities. So we've selected 43 unique areas across Cumbria where we feel we can make the most difference to health and well-being through physical activity. It's essential for us because of the fact that we've only got a very small team to have this focused place-based approach. And we ensure that way that we can direct our resources and efforts into the places that need it most. So I mentioned earlier about some of our nationally funded programmes and this slide shows just a few of these. Many of these are focused on children and young people. But from an adult's perspective, it's worth highlighting the Tackling Inequalities Fund, which is right in the centre of the slide there, which has been supporting voluntary sector organisations from across Cumbria to increase participation in physical activity and sport amongst their clients, members and users, particularly focusing on those with long-term health conditions, those with a disability, those from poorer communities and those from a diverse background. Again, investment here has come from Sport England through the National Lottery and so far we've supported 45 organisations with funding of around £120,000. I also mentioned some of our locally designed and created programmes and services. And a couple of interest here for you would be our Walking for Health scheme, soon to be retitled Rambler's Wellbeing Walks. And we're looking to build significantly on the progress that we made pre-lockdown to really promote and roll this programme out further as, as, as things hopefully get, get back to normal. So we'll be looking to train more walk leaders and we'll be looking to establish many more new walking groups across, across the county. Many of these might be linked to health practices and GP settings, but is this something that might be of interest to you in your workplace to perhaps look at the possibility of hosting a walking group from your, from your offices, from your factories, from your buildings. If that is something that's of interest to you, then please come and, come and see me afterwards and we can, we can have a chat. Is there also a possibility where groups and organisations can come together collectively in a place to perhaps start and think about walking groups within, uh, within work settings? The second one is our active travel uh, initiatives. We've recently taken on the active travel function of Cumbria County Council. At the moment, we're focusing very much on school travel plans and working with primary schools and secondary schools in order to try and encourage more students and pupils to walk to school on a regular basis. But over time, we're going to be looking to expand that. Are your workplaces thinking about active travel for your employees? Is it something that's, that's on your radar that you want to discuss and have, have, have some thoughts about? Again, we're here to help and support if that's something that's of interest to you. So finally, when doing presentations such as this, I always like to leave the audience with a few asks. And this is no different. So, can you recognise that tackling physical inactivity needs to be a top priority as it's responsible for one in six UK deaths and up to 40% of long-term health conditions. Can you be a champion for physical activity in your organisation and workplace? Can you create opportunities for your employees to be physically active or to lead and volunteer in activities that help your workplaces and your communities? Is there an opportunity for us to connect on some of your CSR objectives? Finally, if there's anything that I've mentioned already, please do get in touch. We are here to help and we are here to support. Lastly, this has just been a quick whistle-stop tour of some of the work of Active Cumbria. If you'd like to know more, please do have a look at our website, um, activecumbria.org, or come and have a chat with me over lunch. Uh, I'm more than happy to discuss anything that we've said, but also any of the other issues uh, that you may have around physical activity in the workplace, uh, and we can, we, we can have some more discussions. Thank you very much.